again. Again, welcome to uh, those of you who joined for the dinner last time. A new and equally warm welcome to those who join us uh, this morning for the rest of the day. And my name is Jimmy Banker. I will uh, chair this morning's deliberations. Um, and let's, let's briefly sort of stop and think where we are. Last night, basically, we had that grand vision. We want to think about our future societies. Uh, we want to think what kind of society built on what kind of values we, we really aim for. And then not one solution for good, but different answers for Bulgaria, for the Netherlands, for Scandinavia, for, uh, for France and Portugal. Secondly, we realize that this is all part of, well, let's call it reinventing democracy. All of our democracies are basically built on the 19th century Montesquieu constitution, with whatever footnotes the different countries invented around it. Uh, this actually also includes the United States, India, and however good Montesquieu did his homework, it isn't sufficient for the current world when, where science and technology play such a crucial role. So we need to think about how to elaborate, how to build further on our democracies to cope with the challenges of this uh, new era. Not only to cope with the challenges, but also with the benefits of science and technology. So that was the second element. We are in, we are in the business of reinventing democracy. The third element yesterday uh, was to put that in the broader context of the Pachita project, the project that hosts our meeting uh, today, and that basically aims at trying to, at the instigation of members of parliament, both of the European Parliament and the national parliaments, as Lars Kluver uh, mentioned yesterday, spurred by these members of parliament, how to further uh, spread the implementation of the the implementation of the policy sector uh, over Europe. Moderating the forms of technology system that already exist in some of the countries, helping new countries to develop their own institutional answer to the challenge for uh, technology system. That is the broad agenda for this meeting. But however important such big words are, such visions at the horizon, let's not forget that, that at, the, at the bottom, we need to do work. It's the practices, it's the very concrete questions that policymakers and members of parliament wrestle with that relate to science and technology and that they need answers to. Maybe not the aggressive answer just on the screen, but at least the process of working towards a feasible, a durable, a sustainable answer. And then with sustainable, I also mean sustainable in a political and social sense, and not just in a financial and ecological way. So, Pretty concrete problems, that's what we start out with. The first session, the first hour session, we'll ask four uh, very experienced um, policymakers, members of parliament, all experienced in also dealing with questions of science and technology, to explain from their experience concrete problems that they wrestled with and, and elaborate a little bit how styles of technology assessment, maybe they don't use that word, but in the back, in the back of, of at least my mind when I will be listening will be styles of TA used by them in tackling those problems. Then we will have a one hour uh, discussion at your tables, so there, the, 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 the table setting has, uh, has been designed in such a way that every table has a mix of um, politicians, policy makers, TA practitioners, um, and we hope that at every table then there will be a conversation that really gets to the nitty gritty question, what kind of questions do policy, policy makers and politicians need? What kind of expertise can we as TA people offer? That 
that one hour discussion will uh, conclude with one minute presentations from each table so that we have a little bit of sharing of the, of the results um, of, that, uh, of those table discussions. Then we will broaden out again, so from the nitty gritty work on the shop floor we will then broaden out and um, I, will, I will probably introduce him later but it's very fitting, timely and pertinent that we have René von Schomberg uh, then to give a keynote on uh, responsible research and innovation, which will again give us a much broader view to fit technology assessment practices as um, both belonging to academia and to policy making and shaping a better society. And we will conclude this morning uh, with another panel, uh, then not big presentations of 10 minutes, as we will start uh, in a minute, but very brief kick-offs kick of the discussion, where then I will hope to have uh, a plenary discussion kicked off by those presenters. So that will be the end uh, before lunch. That is the, the travelling schedule for today. Um, can I now ask the presenters of the first uh, round to come and sit at this table. Uh, Maria de Belém Rosaira, uh, Felix Putzwiller, Antonio Fernando Correa de Campos, and uh, Michel Antoine. And I will introduce them uh, each in turn when they take the floor.